As we arrived at the newly named Garant Thomas Velodrome, after a three hour drive, a mixture of excitement and nerves were in the air. As a retired 65 year old Robin Snelson warmed up on his training bike, the atmosphere was buzzing. The Farmer Wheeler member was about to attempt to cycle the furthest distance in one hour in the 65 to 69 age category. For me, for this event, the feeling at the start line was actually, it was relief. I mean, the, the build-up for this has been, you know, extraordinarily long um, and um, over a period of about two years, really. And what I like about being at the velodrome is the actual, the motion of cycling and what have you. So of all of the build-up and the anxiety and all of the issues and that, once I'm in that starting gate, that was a sort of a very peaceful and calm sort of uh, place to be. With a current record standing at 27.51 miles, it was going to be a hard challenge for the club rider. But with the correct equipment and several years of training behind him on the road, it sure was in his grasp to try and beat the distance. The cyclist had a fantastic start and was looking strong throughout as friends and family cheered him along every lap. With just 13 minutes left, the suspense was running high and the Cornish Canada supporters cheered until the very last minute. <laughs> Unfortunately, the cyclist just missed out on the record. However, he was delighted with his effort of 42 kilometres. And so I had a pain in my posterior which affects the glute muscle. I mean, I would be sitting down doing this interview if I could. It's incredibly painful. My legs felt fine and my breathing was good. So it was excruciatingly painful and which I felt compromised the performance quite a bit. The number of people that turned up at fairly short notice, some of them. I mean, that was fantastic. And uh, that really, really spurred me on. There's the Masters um, World Championships that are held, held here each year and they'll do things like scratch races in the, um, the Madison and, well, they probably don't do the Madison in that, but um, those sort of races or probably road races for age categories would probably be more, more, more interest to me.